Hi! Welcome to Tomb Raider Collectibles. This is the base exterior. There are two documents, two relics, one GPS cache and one treasure map. We're starting by the fast travel camp here. And right behind you is a document, I think, I hope. There we are, all right in front of you. That way. Uh, so that is the document there. Then you've got a choice of two things. You can either jump on that zip line and grab the treasure map. But I'm actually going to head underneath. Possibly the wrong way to do it. But head directly down from here. There we go. Let's jump off the stairs that way. And you will find a door here that you can pry open with your prying axe. And just in there you're going to find relic number one on a table. Table? Crate? On a crate, next to some sacks. Some kind of and that's some Japanese dog tags. I don't recognize the camera. And that, as you'll see, is right there. Then we're going to head back up to the top and take that zip line over to grab the treasure map. Like I said, you might want to grab the treasure map first, but if you take the zip line right by the campfire and head across there, I'm pretty sure this is the only way to get on here. I tried climbing up and couldn't do it. But you'll find some ammo there, an XP box there, and just the other side of the fire, there is the treasure map. So that's going to give us the location of everything else, and there's no challenge on this map, so this one is pretty straightforward. So from here we're going to grab the second document, that's just over there. So climb your way back up here, and basically if you're doing this as you walk through the level, uh, you just do it in reverse, start at the back, but because there are so few, you can probably watch this through and have a pretty good handle on where everything is. If you're coming through in the story, there's going to be a fight all the way up here, so as long as you're taking your time to explore, you should be fine. Uh, you'll probably want to come to all these places because there are going to be corpses there uh, that you can loot. And you're also going to get your first weapon part here as well. It's going to be a bow part. A dude with a spear is going to come out. There's the second relic. A dude with a spear is going to come out of the hut at the end. And, or sorry, not a spear, a shield. So you want to dodge him and then shoot him in the head. And he'll give you your first weapon part. After that, the weapon parts seem to be somewhat random. Anyway, head back here and just after you've crossed the bridge, which is right at the beginning, uh, have a look behind this truck and that is your GPS cache for the level and that's all the collectibles. Two documents, two camps, two relics, a GPS cache and a treasure map. Uh, if you need base approach, I think that's base approach on the left, and then Shanty Town on the right. Shanty Town's a big one, it's about 20 minutes long, there is a lot to find along with two challenges. So. Uh, yeah, that one's a bit more involved. Uh, anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye!